Welcome to FluidRay. This tutorial will guide you through the basic features of FluidRay. To start rendering, go to the Import menu and select a file. Or just click the Import button on the toolbar. FluidRay supports many different import formats. Use the mouse wheel to zoom. Hold Ctrl and the left button while dragging the mouse to rotate the camera. Hold Ctrl, Shift, and the left button while dragging the mouse to pan the camera. You can drag and drop an environment from the library to change the scene's lighting. Environment rotation and gain can be changed through the editor window. You can change render mode with control key combined with one, two, or three keys. Or you can change it through the toolbar button. Viewport navigation, like zooming, can be made slower by holding tab key. You can zoom extent the whole model or zoom extent selected object by clicking the zoom tools on the toolbar, or clicking Ctrl-E and Ctrl-Shift-E respectively. A viewport can be stretched to fit to window by clicking the appropriate toolbar button. FluidRay imports many different formats. In this case, we use SketchUp. Let's add an environment light and increase its power. Materials can be assigned with a simple drag and drop. Let's change the material size. We use SketchUp in this example, but you can use your favorite modeler, like Rhino, 3ds Max, and others. Now let's go back to SketchUp. What happens if we make a change in the original SketchUp file? You can simply resave it, go back to FluidRay, re-import the model hitting Ctrl and R or using the toolbar. All the changes you made to the model, like new materials, will be preserved and merged. Cameras are imported together with the scene. Objects can be selected by clicking on them. By holding down the Control key, or Command on a Mac, you can select multiple objects. Selection sets can be saved with the Selection Manager. Double-click on a selection set to rename it. In this way, you'll be able to select again a set of objects with a single click. Materials can be assigned to selected objects by right-clicking on the Material Library and selecting Assign to Selection. You can change the size of a material on the Material tab in the Editor window. Materials can also be assigned with a simple drag-and-drop from the library. Materials can also be assigned to objects with the same material. 
Just hold Shift while dropping the new material to open the Advanced Selection menu. You can also open the Advanced Selection menu by holding the Shift key while selecting objects. Let's add some artificial light, but first we want to reduce the environment light. A selection can be hidden with Ctrl and H keys or through the menu under Edit Hide. In order to have artificial light, we have to assign an emissive material to a surface. Now we have to increase its power. Now we want to unhide all the objects. This can be performed pressing Ctrl, Shift, and the H keys, or with the menu under Edit Unhide All. Let's also increase the other light's power. The Selection Manager helps us to select a set of lights in just one click. And that's it. Thanks for watching this tutorial for Fluidray.